Hi everybody, welcome to Learn Revit API. My name is Eric Fritz and I'll be your Revit API and PyRevit instructor. In the past three years, I've helped thousands of people to get started with Revit API through my YouTube and LinkedIn, providing practical tutorials and sharing what I've learned over the years of coding with Revit API. I've also written a free 50-page ebook Beginner's Guide to Revit API that has been downloaded more than 6,000 times, and it helps beginners to take their first steps with Revit API providing them roadmap with examples and other resources. I've also shared more than 65 add-ins in my free EF Tools extension for Revit, which is used by thousands of Revit users. And recently, I've released my EF PyRevit starter kit, which allows anyone to create their own PyRevit extension in less than two minutes. And it provides all necessary resources and even more code samples. And I want to help you get started creating your own tools for Revit, so you can automate your boring work, create unique tools for your office, manage BIM data in the most efficient way, and get rid of human errors in the repetitive tasks. And ultimately, it's gonna save you hundreds of hours in office with your own custom tools. But before we go any further, let me ask you something. When was the last time when you were searching for an answer to Revit problem, but you only found weird workarounds? How many hours have you spent looking for the right add-in, but nothing worked exactly how you needed it? And have you had a very simple task that probably takes like 30 seconds to make, but you had to do this on 50 different sheets? And you've spent hours in total waiting until each sheet opens up on large project before you can even begin the tasks, and you lose focus every single time. Imagine what would it allow you to do if you could create custom tools from scratch, tailored exactly to your needs? How much time would it save you, and how many headaches would you avoid? And what if I told you that there are thousands of working code snippets that you can copy and modify to your own needs so you don't even need to start from scratch? And PyRevit is what can help you to create your own custom tools with Revit API and Python. But first, let me tell you a quick story about how did I find out about true power of using Revit API with Python. And keep in mind, I've started without knowing anything about Revit API nor Python and I've managed to get 6,000% improvement in execution speed with my small horrible script. And since then, I was obsessed with learning Revit API, and then I started teaching others how to do this. So here's the story. A few years ago, I was working on a large-scale project, and we needed a new facade design. The task was to place 15,000 panels, where large panels would follow the curve on the facade, and then the panels in between would be calculated to reduce the typology. At the time, I was just getting started with Dynamo, but somehow I managed to create a large spaghetti monster that worked, but it was far from being efficient. And the biggest issue was that it took around 40 minutes to run every single time, and it was frustrating. But I thought that it's normal, thinking, well, it's better than placing 15,000 panels manually, right? However, I noticed that one single node has slowed everything down in my script, and I couldn't find any alternatives, and out of curiosity and desperation, I decided to replace it with my own Python script. And I didn't really know Python back then. I literally didn't know anything about the for loop. And I used weird while loops and counted each iteration myself. That's how bad I was back then. But somehow, I made a script that worked, and after clicking on run, the script has finished execution in 40 seconds. I clicked again and again and again, and it took around 40 seconds every single time. And that's a 6,000% improvement, going from 40 minutes down to 40 seconds. And it was an absolute game changer for me. It has opened up my eyes to the potential of Revit API combined with Python. And I want to remind you once more, I knew nothing about Revit API nor Python, and I had no ChatGPT or anything like that. But somehow I managed to write my script by mimicking what I saw online. And from that point forward, I get hooked on Revit API, because once you got results like this, you really start to pay a lot of attention. And listen, I know how limiting Revit can be. We constantly find workarounds instead of solutions to our questions. We spend hours looking for the right add-in, which don't even do exactly what we want. And we quickly pick up this fake it till you make it mentality, which is not good for your BIM projects. But deep down, you know that there should be a better way. And we are in this mess because many people still think that creating custom tools for Revit is impossible. And it will require you years before you can do that, or pay thousands to somebody else to do it for you. And I also thought so in the beginning. But here's the truth, anyone can learn how to do this. I started with no coding background, and within a short period of time, I was creating tools that saved me and my team hundreds of hours of work. And I improved one step at a time, by creating lots of little tools, and I improved along the way. And I'm not alone who did it, there are many people in my community who also started with no coding skills, 
so I know that you can do this as well. But also, for many of you, this is not the first time you try to create your custom add-ins. Maybe you even tried to use Dynamo or PyRevit and you might even failed, and that's okay. I'm completely self-taught myself, so I know how it feels to get started on your own. There are gonna be many roadblocks when you get started with Revit API. I've also started with no coding skills, and there was nobody wearing an EF cap teaching me every step and provide awesome resources. I had to spend countless evenings searching for answers on blog posts and forums and read more error messages than results. And back then, I had no awesome friend called ChatGPT. That would probably cut my learning journey at least by tenfold and I would literally pay hundreds a month for something like that when I started. And you have it right now absolutely for free, which is crazy. AI has made programming so much more accessible and now anyone can start coding in a fraction of a time. But learning Revit API can still be hard if you don't follow the right roadmap. And because of all of these frustrations, I decided to create a comprehensive course that will take you from the beginning and it will teach you everything that you need to know to get started with Revit API using PyRevit. You won't have to wait months to see your first results and you won't have to spend thousands to get access to other developers in case you have questions. In fact, you will already create your own extension in the second lesson of this course. And to make sure that anyone can do this and get a taste of being a developer, the first module is free for everybody. I want to help you get started with PyRevit, set up your development environment, and provide all necessary resources, including my free ebooks and starter kits, with a ton of code samples that's gonna help you learn Revit API. The first module could have easily been a separate paid course on its own. I know that people will probably pay me like 100, 200 to join it, and they would be really happy with what they're gonna get, because there's really a lot of value in the first module. So please, take advantage of that being free and start your Revit API journey. But the first module is just the beginning to help you get started and give you a taste of what it's like to be a PyRevit developer. But if you really wanted the quickest path to learn Revit API, you should join this whole course. And I will give you the roadmap and take you step by step through Revit API basics without feeling overwhelmed and explain you everything you need. Usually, I start with the theory and then I jump straight into the practice, so we can create a lot of new tools together. Practice is by far the best way to learn programming, and that's what I focus a lot during this course. This course is not something you watch once and forget. This is a library of tutorials, which you will come back to when you need to remember certain topics or get my code snippets. And by the end of this course, you will know Revit API basics, you will have your own Revit extension, and you will collect a library of reusable code snippets that you will be using in all your future tools because Revit API is very repetitive. This course has already helped hundreds of people to learn Revit API from scratch, and some haven't even had any prior Python knowledge, and they all managed to follow along the course after watching a free course on Python basics. I'm also working on including Python basics for absolute beginners inside the course as well, but right now it's recommended that you know Python basics, so you can follow this course comfortably. Many students in the course has also pointed out that it got so much easier to learn Revit API once they focus on the Python basics by following some free Python courses. And also, keep in mind that during this course we will be using PyRevit. Like many of you, I have started with Dynamo, but eventually I've discovered PyRevit and it's the best thing that happened in my career. But even if you're a hardcore Dynamo user and you still want to stay in Dynamo environment, you can still bring all the skills from this course into Dynamo environment. So you feel comfortable still using your Dynamo nodes, and occasionally you can still use Revit API inside your Python nodes. And nearly everything stays the same with the code between PyRevit and Dynamo, with just a few little differences, which I will mention in the first module as well. So, if you want to get access to the full library of tutorials, follow the quickest path to learn Revit API, and get access to my Learn Revit API community, then you should join the course today. Getting started is very simple. Just click the link to join the course below this video and fill out the form. You will receive an email with an immediate access to the course platform and the community. As soon as you join, you will have access to more than 55 lessons across 9 modules. Each lesson has an in-depth video and written out summary, so you can consume the content both in video and text formats. And you will also be invited to join my Learn Revit API community. This is the best place for Revit API developers to discuss lessons, share scripts, and ask for code help when you need it. Many people have found the community alone worth the price of joining the course, because of how valuable it is. But also, I want to point out that I'm not done with the course. I continue to update existing lessons, add more modules to the course, and also I have three big bonuses coming up in the upcoming months for people who join today. 
you will also get access to my VPF course for PyRevit users that will teach you how to create amazing looking custom UI forms with PyRevit. This is by far the most requested topic on my channel. Then you'll also get access to upcoming Python course for Revit users to help you learn Python basics to get started. And lastly, you will also get access to AI mini course for Revit API developers to leverage AI to be more efficient and better programmer. But also keep in mind that I always put a lot of effort in my videos. And as a result, it takes time to produce high quality tutorials because I also have to prepare resources, starter kits to help you understand the concepts. So please be patient and keep in mind that when these bonuses are complete, the price of the course will also go up. So now it's your chance to join at the lower price and still get access to all the upcoming course updates and all the extra bonus courses. And also I want to make this investment 100% risk free for you. It might sound scary to join the course and get disappointed. Nobody wants that. So I'll provide a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you are not happy with the course, you can get all your money back within 30 days from the purchase. And there are no hidden rules asking you to do something. But I know that you will absolutely love this course and the community it provides. And don't just take my word for this. Have a look at what other people say about this course. You can pause the video and read what others say, but you will notice a few patterns here. Because everybody says how well the course is structured, how much easier it became to learn Revit API, and nearly every second testimonial mentions how useful is the Discord community. And it's truly something that I wish I had when I started, because there is nothing like this out there. And lastly, let's recap why should you join Learn Revit API course today. Firstly, you will get immediate access to all course materials, including videos, detailed code summaries, and more. Secondly, you will get access to my Learn Revit API community, which is the best place for Revit API developers, especially beginners. Thirdly, you will get access to all upcoming updates to the course. This includes updated lessons and modules. And lastly, you will also get access to all bonus courses that are coming in the upcoming months, such as VPF course for PyRevit users, Python course for Revit users, and AI mini course for Revit API developers. And to make this all a risk-free investment, I provide a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you're not happy with the course, you can request a full refund within 30 days. But I know that you will absolutely love this course. And once you follow Learn Revit API course, you will be able to automate your boring work, create unique tools for your office, manage Beam data in a more efficient way, and get rid of human errors in repetitive tasks, and ultimately save hundreds of hours in your office with custom tools. Take your first day today to start creating your own Revit add-ins. Click join the course button under this video, and I look forward to seeing you inside the course and help you achieve your goals with Revit. I want to wish you happy coding, and I'm going to see you soon inside the course. Goodbye.